morning to you dear starter it is another blessed morning the lord has provided us the opportunity to fellowship together and i'm glad you are part of us you are joining us here on start and stare and i believe it will end in testimonies Amen. if you believe start and say it will end in testimony type out in the comment section and say my day will end in testimonies oh if you can type it out a couple of times i will know you are ready you are declaring my day will end in testimonies my day will end in Say, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, my day day will end end in testimonies. testimonies. Let's say it five times. Say, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, my day day will end end in testimonies. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, my day day will end end in testimonies. testimonies. Say, in the name of Jesus, my day day will end end in testimonies. Say, in the name of Jesus, my day day will end end in testimonies. In the name of Jesus, my day will end in testimony. Shout to Allah and say, Amen. Shout and say, I believe. Hallelujah. Today, we are considering the verse number 28 and the verse number 29. 28b and 29. 28b and 29 of the book Matthew chapter number 13. Hallelujah. Share the link. Let your friends and family know that we are on. We are on. We are on. We are on. Hallelujah. Amen. And I hear an amen here. Amen. Okay, verse number 28. He says, and he said unto them, an enemy has done this. The servant said to him, do you want us then to go and gather them? Verse 29. He said, but he said, no. Lest while you gather the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Interesting. Interesting. Here is a, um, um, a ruler or a master of a house who has sown good seed. And here is just like you and I, we have labored hard and we have planted good seed in our children, in our career, in our businesses, and whatever department of our lives. And in the end, when the seed was supposed to now bring us some joy, benefits, and fruits of our labor, guess what is happening? Tests are coming up. And then we have people, helpers, who are coming to say, Master, should we then go and go and approach the test? And the master says, no, such wisdom. He says, no, do not do that. Do not do that. Why? Because if you go and try to approach them, you are highly likely to temper with the wheat that has also been planted. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What is the revelation? Many a times when you are the one who worked hard and the enemy comes to frustrate your works, in trying to resolve your own problem, you end up creating a mess. I can force it. Meaning, you do not stop, stand in problem to resolve a problem. So the master said, do not touch them. Do not touch them. Unless when you are removing the test, you also harm their fruit. Allow them. Allow them. Kabaya satana brandi. What am I saying this morning? What I'm saying is that the problems in your life, you don't have mastery to handle them. You don't have the skill to handle them. If you are not careful, you will use your emotions to destroy what God is building in your life. Yes. I know I'm speaking to somebody right now. I'm speaking to somebody right now. What you are going through, if you are not careful, and if you are not under the instruction and the managerial and leadership hand of God, you will end up in thinking you are destroying something wrong. You will also be destroying something good. He said, do not touch them. 
Oh, Jesus. Do not touch them. Allow them to grow. Allow them to grow. For the sake of the wheat. For the sake of the wheat. Allow them to grow. We need patience. We need tolerance. We need endurance. Father, grant us the grace to be able to allow certain things to go on. Because when we allow them to go on, then your glory can be seen. Do we allow them to persist just a little bit at the right time? Your power will be seen. Don't touch them. Allow them. It is not everything that you touch. It is not every man that you touch. It is not every woman that you touch. It is not every problem that you decide to resolve. There are some things you have to carry them to the Lord. Today we are praying that Father grant us the grace to be able to carry our problems to you. The songwriter said, what a friend we have with Jesus. For all our sins and griefs to bear, what a privilege to carry everything to Christ in prayer. We are praying today and we are saying, Father, carry the burden. We cast our cares onto you. If you are ready to pray with me, lift your voice. I'm going to bless the name of the living God. Ah. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, we bless you for yet another morning, for yet another break of day. We thank you that you have blessed us with a Tuesday morning and we say your name alone be praised, your name alone be glorified, your name alone be adored. Oh, be glorified, be adored, be honored. Father, our lips will sing your praise. 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 In the name of Jesus, what shall we render to you? Thou, O God, who is God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for you? We thank you for yet another morning. We thank, we thank you for yet another opportunity to go through this day bringing glory and honor to you. We thank you that you find us worthy. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We don't know the criteria. We don't know the, the, the things that you put into consideration. Therefore, we can only conjecture and say that it is only by your grace, it is only by your mercies that we have seen yet another day, that we have not yet had any good, any bad news, that we have not become victims to the enemy. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We exalt your name. In the name of Jesus. Bokarabata. Rebendos kate, bareba katosa, ibala bados kadabaya, rebende ketele bosa, rabanda kaya dabada daha, kabosa, iba kareba. We honor you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We say your name be praised. We thank you that we are in life. We thank you that we are kept. We thank you. That we are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. Makaya brando satana baha reka pale brande la shanda ha ayakada bale brando satana baha iyakada brande le katana baha rabande katana baha rabade le ba sata. Hey! Makaya da bade le ba shokotori ande Rebecca da bade brande le ba shata ba Rebecca da ba. Ayele brandele ba kaya brandele le besha. In the name of Jesus, we honor you. We honor you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We give you honor. In the bosha, ragade, masadaba, rekapa. In the name of Jesus. Said, Master, should we remove it? Master, should we gather them? Master, should we take them out? Master, should we prune them? And the master says, do not think about that. Otherwise, you will hurt them. In trying to work out why you are still single, you are causing other problems. Can you allow God to take over the matter? In trying to work out why you are poor and you are not making money, this you are taking the battle on yourself. You are making some more mistakes. But we are praying, you are saying, Father, we commit all our problems and our cares to you. You are saying, Father, Lord, I cast all my cares to you. Sometimes the prayers we pray are a proof that we, don't, we do not have as it were, we do not have faith in God. But today we are praying, we are saying that thou, O Lord, we cast all our cares unto you. Say, my father, my maker. Today, today I, accept I accept you as the one, as the one who, can who can handle every storm, every, storm, every, challenge, every challenge, every problem, every problem in, my life, in my life without fail. Without fail. Therefore, therefore, as I lift my voice and I pray, and I pray 
Father Lord, I cast all my cares unto you. All the cares of life, all the cares of my health, I cast them unto you. In the name of Jesus, let my God arise right now. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and me to pray right now. Cast your curse unto him. He said, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Today we are counting on the strength of the Lord. We are depending on the grace of the Lord. We are saying, thou, O Lord, take over. Thou, O Lord, take charge. In the name of Jesus, every situation in our lives, we're committed to you. We're committed to you. In the name of Jesus, you God, who is God of all knowledge, in the name of Jesus, we're committed to you. Every storm in our lives, every storm in our finances, every storm in our businesses, every storm in whatever area of our lives, Father Lord, we commit them to you. Take over, take over in the name of Jesus. In a situation that has become almost permanent, we pray, oh God, our strength cannot, our might cannot, but thou, O oh Lord, you shall take charge. Take charge, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power and the efficacy of the blood, my Father, my Maker, take charge now. Take charge now. Take charge now. In the name of Jesus, we cast our curse unto you. We cast our burdens unto you. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Let over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the storm or carrying in the health of men, in the health of women, take over in the name of Jesus. In a storm dominating in a marriage, any storm dominating businesses, any affliction dominating individuals. Father, we pray our strength has failed. Our abilities have failed in trying to solve the matter. We have created more. We pray that, oh Lord, take over in the name of Jesus. That marriage, the woman tried, but more problems are coming. The man tried, but more challenges are coming. That business, we are trying, but issues are coming up. We pray in the name of Jesus. Take over, take over. Maya Kabara Bandelebe Shata, Makolo Roba Dara Bandeleba. Take over in the name of Jesus. You have asked things from the Lord, and you seem not to be receiving an answer. Take over, take over, take over, Rabba Daba Dada. My problem, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, take over. Any delay playing out in your life. Let the Lord take over. What have you done? You have labored. You have applied. You have worked. Nothing seems to be happening. The Lord should take over. Pray. The more you try, the more you lose customers, the more you try, the more you lose businesses. Lord, take over. Jesus, take the wheels. Take it from my hands. I don't know what to do. Lord, take over. Lord, take over. Are you praying? The delay in marriage. The delay in getting a job. The delay in childbirth. Lord, take over. Every challenge, every storm that is blowing in the lives of our viewers. Father, take over. Father, take over. And the sickness that has become with current. Father, take over. Maya Kapara no no bashata. Hey! Rekete nebe. Maya Katoli andaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of in the name of Jesus. Father, take over. Father, take over. In the name of Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Sometimes our thinking is that we can do it. 
Our thinking is that our prayers can do it. Our thinking is that our hard work can do it. But this time, the master stopped the servant and told the servant, it is not a matter of hard work. Because your hard work can even damage the things and the reward that is coming to you in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence of the tears does not suggest the absence of the master of the house. Come on now. In other words, the presence of your problem, the presence of the of the challenges, the presence of the storm, the presence of the test, the presence of the issues that you are going through, the presence of the ill health does not suggest that God is not present. But what it means is that you must now move your focus from the problem even unto God. So Paul went to God and said, God, three times I have beseeched you to take this tongue from my flesh, but the Lord said, I am not going to remove the tongues. Because you are focused on the thoughts. You are focused on the problem. But I want you to know another thing that is there. It is called the efficiency of grace. He said, my grace will be made efficient for you. We are praying, we are saying, God, grant me the grace to trust in you in the midst of my troubles. Grant me the grace to depend on you and not on my strength. Not on my connections. Not on my calculations. Not on my analysis. You need grace to be steadfast even on God. It takes grace. So that the test on your land does not stop you or make you destroy the wheat. Say, my father, my maker. I feel like I'm speaking to somebody right now. And I feel people are here listening and they are broken down. They are broken down because they have used their energy. Oh, my dear, it is well. It is well. It is well. You are the reason why God is bringing this word. Bringing this word to revive you and to stir you up. And to know he has not left you. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, in the midst of this storm of my life, grant me the grace to trust you. To trust that you are in charge. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, right in the midst of this storm, grant me the grace to hold on. Grant me the grace to hang on. Grant me the grace to trust in you. To trust that your hands are able and in the right time, you make everything in my life beautiful. Father Lord, grant me grace. Grant me grace to trust you, to depend on you. Lift your voice and me to pray. Lord, grant us the grace to depend on you, to stand on you, to be firm and to know that in the midst of affliction, your grace abounds. In the midst of affliction, your grace abounds. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice. In the midst of affliction, this is not a time to jump from place to place. It is a time to trust in the Lord. Father, grant me grace. Father, grant me the grace. The grace is the strength. Father, grant me the strength. The grace is the understanding. Father, grant us understanding to be able to depend on you, to be able to think on you, to be able to focus on you and not on the challenges. The presence of the test is not proof of the absence of God. We are saying, Lord, in the midst of affliction, in the midst of delay, in the midst of denial, in the midst of whatever storm, help me to trust in you. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me. Father, help me. Father, grant me the grace. Father, grant me the grace to wait on you. In the name of Jesus, to depend on you, to focus on you, that my eyes will be on you. And David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. In the midst of affliction, in the name of Jesus, help us to trust in you. He said, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. There is evil in the valley, there is darkness in the valley. Yet he said, My focus is not on the evil, neither is it on the valley, neither is it on the darkness, but it is on you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know who is praying with me. In the midst of delay, in the midst of delay, in the midst of denial, in the midst of poverty, in the midst of lack, in the midst of whatever, may I trust in you. May I depend on you, not on men, not on women, 
but on you. I don't know what is leading you. The situation have led you to make wrong choices. The situation has led you to make wrong choices, to do, to take wrong steps. And we are saying the Lord, help me, help me, help me in the name of Jesus. Pray. Strengthen us, O God. The grace to trust. The grace to believe. The grace to believe in the name of Jesus. Rapayada bayada, rakada badaba. In the name of Jesus. He says, when the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king. Over the flood, I will be still and know you, Aga. Oh, I will be still and know you. Hey, when the oceans rise and thunders roar, there's a healing coming for somebody. I will soar with you above the storm. Hey, Father, you are king over the flower. Hey, I will be still and know you are God. Oh, I will be still and know you are God. There is a saying in Akan. They say, See, see, see. This, this morning, what we are dealing with is dealing with our sense of strength in the wrong things and allowing God to take over. What it means that when God picks his stone, it seems as if he does not throw it early. But we are not here to come and decipher that matter. We are just basing on it. The fact is that if God is not throwing his stone early, it does not mean he will never throw it. It means that eventually... He will throw his stone. And when God throws his stone, it doesn't miss. It doesn't it, it hit target. And it, meets, it, it goes beyond expectation. What am I saying? I am saying that in the midst of waiting on God to finally throw his stone of miracle into your life, Father, grant us the strength to wait. Lord, grant me the strength to wait on you. Many people, by their own strength, have organized their own miracles. Have organized their own testimonies. Now, guess what? Your testimony has become like a painkiller. After four days, after five days, the painkiller has worn off. And now you need to take another. So you see that it has become a cycle of your own strength at work. But we are saying, Father, grant me the strength to wait on you. Grant me the confidence and the boldness to wait on you. It is not easy. But Father, if you are with me, I can do it. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say, my Father, my maker. This morning, this morning, grant me strength, grant me strength to, wait to wait on you. The perfect miracle, the perfect, miracle, the perfect testimony, the perfect testimony comes, from you. comes from you. Therefore, Lord, Therefore, Lord no, matter how much, no matter how much in a hurry, in a hurry I, am, I am, no matter how much, no matter how much it, feels, it feels, I, I, am, behind I am behind time. Grant me the strength me the to strength wait on you. Wait on the you. courage hey, to stand firm. And wait on you. Lift your voice and me to pray right now. Hey. Grant us the strength of God to wait on your appointed time. Grant us the strength of God to wait on the appropriate time. Grant us the strength of God to wait on the perfect time. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Strengthen me to wait on you. Strengthen me to wait on you. That your promises are yea and amen. That you are not a man to lie. Not a son of man to repent. In the mighty name of Jesus. Grant me strength. Grant me strength to wait on you.
on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant me strength to depend on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant me grace in the name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, when it feels like others are going ahead, when it feels like people are light years ahead of me, grant me the strength that believe to wait on you in the name of Jesus. Help me to trust in you throughout the bad times, throughout the good times, throughout the evil times, that eventually it will turn around, that it will turn around in the name of Jesus. If Job's testimony, if Job's testament was turned around from an evil one to a good one, help me, O oh God, to wait on you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh God, if people could give birth after 15 years, Father, if you strengthen me, I will wait on you. Father, if you strengthen me, I will wait on you. In the name of Jesus, may I not be coerced. May I not be forced to do things I'm not supposed to do to bring out my own miracle. In the name of Jesus, may we not be influenced to prove anything. When the marriage is not coming, grant me the strength to wait on you. When the customers are not coming, grant me the strength to wait on you. For in your own time, you make all things uh, beautiful. You make all things uh, beyond beautiful to perfection. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, grant us the strength to wait on you only. Grant us the strength to depend on you only, to believe on ending, to stand on day that we will stand on your word. Help us, O oh God, get us the strength to know that he that began will bring it to a perfect end in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Father, we plead for your strength, for your strength to wait on you in the name of Jesus. And the master said, do not touch them. Wait, 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 so that you do not destroy the miracle. Father, may we not be in a hurry to destroy our own testimonies. May we not be in a hurry to to influence our own destinies. May we not be in a hurry to do what? Lose right before men, but run for our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, grant us the strength. Are you praying? Cry out to God. Father, it is not easy. Father, it is not easy. But if you will strengthen me, I will wait on you. Father, it is not easy to stay chaste. But if you strengthen me, I will wait on you. Father, it's not easy. To, to, to remain at this level instead of sleeping around for promotion. But if you were strengthening me, I will wait on you. Promotion comes from the Lord. It does not come from the east nor the west. It comes from the Lord. Father, strengthen us. Strengthen us. Strengthen us. Strengthen us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's a very powerful song I love so much. Say, give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp. I pray. Today, I'm going to sign out with this song. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Keep me burning to the end of the day. May we not be tired of the faith. But may we hold on strong and firm through to the end. My name is Reverend Kake. Do have a stand up there. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Let this song be on your mouth through the day. Give me oil in my lamp. I pray. Oh, give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Oh, keep me burning till the end. Oh, give me oil. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. May we not lose the grace. Give me oil in my lamp. I pray. Hallelujah. Give me oil in my love keep me burning oh keep me burning till the end oh give me oil give me oil kabadaba shota May your day be blessed. May your day be fruitful. May your day be strong. May you be strong in the Lord. And may you be courageous. You will not give in. You will not give up. You have the grace. You have the grace to endure and the strength to wait on the Lord. Keep me burning till the end of the day. Oh.